Now that's a camcorder. What I have here today is the Canon GL1 3CCD Mini DV camcorder from the late 90s, early 2000s part of Canon's history. Now you might be saying, Cole, why do these things cost so much compared to iPhones when iPhones record in 1080p? Well, I'm about to show you. Uh, this is actual glass. This is an actual Canon video lens. Uh, it's not as nice as the one that's actually found on the XL1, but this combined with the 3CD sensor can actually make this much better footage than an iPhone. You might also notice one of the more premium features of this camera back in the day was actually it has an LCD panel built right into it. Uh, that can also turn back around for vlogging. You can hold it like this and vlog. Uh, you really wouldn't want to do that for a long time because this thing weighs like, I believe it's like two kilograms. If you're thinking about buying one of these things on eBay, make sure you get it from a reputable seller. Anything less than 99% good feedback, don't buy it. Because these things, they take actual tapes. And sometimes the tape mechanism, this is what fails 98% of the time on these cameras. Now talking about the audio that you get with this camera, you get a stereo microphone and you can also, you can put foam over this just to get rid of a bit of the wind because even though it has a bit of foam built into it, it actually can, if you're any in anything more, even if you're just breathing on it, you know, it's going to get a lot of sound in the microphone. That is one of the issues I actually had with this camera when I was using it extensively on the film, more power to you. Now, should you buy this camera for YouTube? Short answer, no. Do not buy this camera if you expect to do vlogging, any real YouTube. Sure, you'll get a better picture than with an iPhone, for example, an older iPhone, but you're going to be making several sacrifices. One is going to be the mini DV. Uh, number two, um, the audio quality, though it may be good, I find that on YouTube, it can sometimes, I don't know, it tricks itself whenever it imports into certain video editors to think it's actually only a mono mic. So you only get audio in like your left ear. So I do not want anybody emailing me like a month after I believe I released my XL1 review. A guy emailed me, I think he was like a kid or something. And he basically, he said, oh yeah, the XL1 sucks. I bought it for $300, etc., etc." blah 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 in short he's getting an iPhone 3GS because it can do 1080p so <sighs> please can I not have anybody emailing me I do not recommend any mini DV tapes based cameras for YouTube so without further ado with, I'm gonna show you guys some footage of this camera that I shot uh, at the park So whether or not you should buy this camera is completely up to you based on what I have given you today. Uh, personally, it was the right choice for me at the time, but now my heart has kind of been sold to a certain other camera. I mean, just look at this thing. It's monstrous. Thank you guys for checking out my Canon GL1 overview, and be sure to subscribe for more tech videos.